Well, arts is very, very important. It's very important to us as current residents because it allows us to open up our horizons. It allows us to be uh, introduced to different forms of art, which uh, again, makes us think and feel and, and sense things. It's also important that we have a vibrant arts culture to encourage younger people or even people that are older to pick up the arts, whether it be learning how to play a musical instrument, learning how to write, uh, learning how to direct uh, when it comes to plays and screens, uh, screenplays. We have lots, we have a very vibrant arts culture here in Belleville and it has gotten better. I campaigned on uh, arts, culture and heritage in the 2018 election and I've delivered on it uh, this term and I look to have more in the future uh, because it makes us all a better place. And perhaps also a side um, effect of it or one of the positive consequences of having a strong and vibrant art scene is that it's good for economic development. People will come and visit us to be able to take part of our arts activities. And, uh, and then and no better case in point was the Mayor's Week for the Arts that we instituted this term, which celebrates the arts in our city. Well, I'm really proud of the work that our council has done this term. Uh, back in 2019, we doubled the funding for the Community Arts and Culture Fund from $25,000 to $50,000 per year. We've increased the funding for the Quinney Arts Council by $5,000 a year. Um, and I just made an announcement uh, last week at the Mayor's Luncheon for the Arts um, that it's time for us to start thinking now of, a, of a, another venue for our city, uh, Performing Arts Centre. And so if I'm re-elected, we will work to uh, continue to support the arts and culture and uh, entertainment sectors in our city, but also be making sure that we have the right venues so that artists can demonstrate their art and that we can go and enjoy it. Hello, my name is Catherine Brown and I'm running for City Councillor in Ward 2 Thurlow. When we talk about the arts, um, we often think about the value of arts and culture. And we typically start with the intrinsic, about how arts and culture illuminate our lives and make us feel so much better. What we, what we cherish about the arts is what it brings to the community. And a perfect example of how arts and culture have contributed to our well-being is what we did in the downtown district in 2020 and 2021. Understanding that we were in a pandemic and we needed to make things safe and healthy, the arts and culture elements of downtown is what really brought us to the forefront. We had art installations, we had music in the air, we had um, lighting, we had tete a that were painted by local artists. We did all of the things that people could come and see and do in a safe and healthy way. But while we don't always cherish the arts and culture, um, we, because of the impact on our social well-being, about our physical and our mental health, on our education system, they do confer all of those benefits. And we need to be able to show how important this is. Arts of all stripes play a crucial role in shaping our culture. They shine a spotlight on truth, they create moments of joy and they inspire us to act. In times like this, we need to empower artists like never before to help us. As a counselor, I promise that I will continue to advocate for um, the inclusion of our artists and our musicians and more in all of the city events that are organized in Belleville. Hello everyone, I am Margaret Sue and I'm running for the seat for Belleville Council Ward 1. Music and arts in the community are a big part of my everyday life. I have been with the Rotary Music Festival for 11 years, which provides constructive adjudication to encourage success. My daughter studied music, piano, voice, harp, from age four to 18. I have supported her in every way, including her as a member of Rudy Heisen's choir, where she traveled the world singing. Now she has a master's degree in fine arts. I have been in the church choir for 35 years, part of that as the choir director. 
I have been a season ticket holder for the Theater Guild at Pinnacle Playhouse for many years. I believe music and the arts keep kids out of trouble. They spend more time improving themselves. It makes our community stronger and more robust. It is for all of these reasons and many more that fine arts and performing arts are important to my community. For your question of what specific actions I would take to strengthen the arts and culture sector, I would support any good proposals for improving the arts in Belleville. Belleville has a rich history of festivals and arts. I would like to see them continue, grow, and get better. This year, I attended the Caribbean Festival, Portifest, and many others. We need more of this. I have worked to support such events and will continue that effort. My name is Margaret Su. Please vote for me. Hello, I'm Lisa Ann Chatton. I am running for Belleville City Council, Ward 1. And I was asked to complete a small um, video regarding how I support the arts. And so I thought maybe I would take you on a quick little tour of my home and show you some of the things that we have here that um, support our uh, interest and love of the arts as a family. I've always been interested in the arts. I think that it's incredibly important for community and for culture. Um, this is an art project that I actually helped to do with our um, participants at a co-ed program. This was at um, a, a program that help to facilitate adults with learning disabilities, um, how to do things that brought them joy. Um, another interesting piece that I have is in this room here, one of our local artists, Chris Finkel, did this painting. I bought it um, as soon as it came on the market, pretty much, um, because I loved it so incredibly much. And again, it was about supporting local artists. It was about making sure that we had a piece from our, our own community in our home. So I think um, the other thing I'd like to mention is that my husband <clears throat> is also an artist as well as um, <laughs> trying his hand out at uh, acting and, and things with Pinnacle Playhouse. So this is one of the pieces that he has done. Another art piece that we have in the house from a local artist, Melissa Brandt. She did this for me as a surprise, actually. Um, this was about 2019 in December. She actually did that um, with a medium of, I believe it was uh, ink. Um, that she used for that. So, and then up on the wall up here, that was also my husband. He also did that one. And there's there's quite a few more in, in our home. So anyhow, I just wanted to show you our authentic interest in the arts and that I absolutely do support um, the arts in, in Belleville and surrounding area. In every community, I think municipalities have a responsibility to ensure that that culture stays alive. 